Hi, I'm Dr. Alicia Sequist from the Massachusetts General Hospital Cancer Center in Boston, and I specialize in the treatment of lung cancers. Today, we're going to be talking about targeted therapy for lung cancer. Targeted therapy is also sometimes called precision medicine, or molecularly targeted therapy, or molecularly targeted drugs. And we're going to be talking about a specific type of targeted therapy called EGFR inhibitors in today's video. Let's first discuss how targeted therapies work in general and how they differ from chemotherapy. Chemotherapies kill cells that are dividing and function on the principle that cancer cells are dividing more often or more rapidly than normal cells within the body. As researchers have learned more about the genetic changes or mutations that cause cancer to develop, they have been able to develop drugs that specifically recognize and hone in on features that only cancer cells have, like certain genetic mutations. In this way, the treatments can directly target cancer cells. One class of targeted cancer therapies that is currently available focuses on the epidermal growth factor receptor, or EGFR genetic mutation. These EGFR-directed drugs, like many of our oral targeted cancer therapies, are a type of medication called tyrosine kinase inhibitors, also called TKIs. Cancer cells often have protein receptors on their surface. I often describe these protein receptors to my patients as antennas that are on the outskirts of the cancer cell, receiving signal messages that can help direct the cancer cells to grow. When a cancer contains a specific and defining mutation, or a change in its instruction manual, it then goes about its business in a defined and unique way, including by putting a certain type of antenna or receptor out there on its surface. We can then take advantage of this distinctive receptor being there to act like a beacon and direct the TKI drug where to go and which cells to kill. When the TKI drug gets to the antenna, it interferes with the signal that is sent and the cancer stops growing. Targeted therapies that are TKIs work best when the correct match is made between the type of mutation within the cancer and the corresponding type of TKI. As mentioned earlier in this video, we will discuss a group of TKIs called EGFR inhibitors. There are currently three EGFR inhibitors available. A fatinib or gelatrif is indicated for first-line treatment of patients with metastatic EGFR positive non-small cell lung cancer. Erlotinib, or Tarceva, is indicated as first-line treatment for patients with EGFR-mutated non-small cell lung cancer and also as maintenance therapy and second or third-line treatment for any patient with advanced non-small cell lung cancer. And Jafitinib, or Arisa, which has been approved in many other parts of the world and is indicated as monotherapy for the continued treatment of patients with locally advanced or metastatic non-small cell lung cancer after failure of chemotherapy, but is not currently available in the U.S. EGFR inhibitors work by blocking the signals that the EGFR protein receptor sends to grow and divide. Recall that the EGFR protein does this only in cancers that have a type of DNA change called an EGFR mutation. So that is why EGFR TKIs work primarily in patients that are EGFR positive on gene testing. Most EGFR inhibitors are pills taken by mouth once a day. They should be taken one hour before or two hours after a meal so that the stomach is empty. The most common side effects of EGFR inhibitors are skin side effects and diarrhea. The skin can get an acne-like rash on the scalp, face, neck, chest, and upper back, or also become dry all over, which can be itchy. Other common side effects include fatigue, changes in the mouth or fingernails, and nausea. More serious side effects that have been seen rarely with one or more of the EGFR inhibitors include interstitial lung disease, liver and kidney damage, eye inflammation, severe skin lesions, and bleeding problems. One challenge of TKIs, including EGFR inhibitors, is that patients with lung cancer who initially benefit from them eventually develop resistance to them. As a result, their lung cancer may grow or spread. This is known as acquired resistance. Cancer cells are clever enough to eventually find a way to bypass roadblocks so they can survive. The genes within the cancer may even mutate further in order to overcome the effects of targeted drugs. Doctors and researchers are working to overcome resistance in tumors and to keep tyrosine kinase inhibitors effective against lung cancer for longer periods of time. 
The next generation of EGFR inhibitors is being studied in clinical trials now. I hope that this video has provided you a better understanding of tyrosine kinase inhibitors, in particular EGFR inhibitors, and how they may apply to your treatment plan. Check back at longevity.org for updates and more information.